I originally started making this video with intentions of just messing around with the Marshall JCM 800 and uh, trying to take that Mesa Boogie EQ, shove it in the effects loop and see what happens. But what did happen is I stumbled upon this very cool John Sykes tone recipe, which, which makes sense uh, because on that 87 White Snake album, uh, I believe John used a Mesa Mark III Coliseum, which is a Mark III super high wattage mark three uh and um marshall head so you could kind of hear the difference in some of the songs where some are more mid-range marshally and some have that more mesa scoop this is kind of a hybrid world even though i'm doing it sort of in reverse um, many years ago i had the great fortune of working with john on his live album bad boys live i traveled with him and recorded the concerts and uh mixed them and uh he's just an ultimate rock star, total gentleman, uh, great, awesome guy, and such a presence. And so I had the amazing fortune of uh, getting to sit and watch him play Unplugged, and um, I mean, it's amazing. It sounds exactly the same. He probably, he seems to have the strongest hands in the world. I watched him rip uh, the lid the bottom, not the lid, the bottom off of a, like a tin coffee can, like like Hulk style. It was just, we needed it because we were wrapping like tape up and he goes, oh, okay. I'm like, oh, all right. So, um, yeah, and uh, you know, just since I'm telling you stories, the other is he always had his uh, purple, did I lose it? I was using it for this. He'd always have his, purple Dunlop picks and he'd be sandpapering the edges to get a really rough tone and it's funny because you'd watch him play and it doesn't look like he's blazing at a million miles an hour but when it's all plugged in it's like it's so powerful and it comes out sounding so fast but I don't know he makes it look easy that's what the 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 rare special guys do it's just it's all so easy for them it seems that way anyway um the other thing he said, which was cool, is uh, we were t working on vocals and blending the background vocals, and he had mentioned that when he could see notes and he just hits them, he's got great pitch and, and an incredible singer. I didn't have to pitch a single note of his vocals. Not a note. This is live. Incredible. He's the real deal. Real deal Holyfield. Uh, looking forward to new music from him one day. Hopefully one day. One day. Anyway, so in this video, it goes off the rails a little bit because I did, wasn't intending to do a sound like John Sykes video uh, until the end when I was like, wait a minute, this is starting to sound like John Sykes a little bit to me. So then, uh, you know, a couple days in, I brought, brought in my old Les Paul Custom and, um, you know, threw some effects on and some... Sounds like Sykes to me. Hey gang, let to put you in place here. Uh, today I'm gonna do some like weird Dr. Moreau kind of stuff. Uh, what is this? Better. Uh, I'm gonna take my buddy Michael Torrens JCM 800 and I'm gonna see what happens when you use a Mesa five band graphic EQ in the loop. Does it become Mesa-ish? Is it awesome? Is it not awesome? We shall see, but first, let me show you some of the stupendous glory that is the JCM 800. This is an original 2203 Marshall uh, JCM 800 series. It has been modified with a effects loop on the back. The reissues have the effects loop, the originals don't. This is the way I like to set it, which is somewhere around like an ACDC thing. The preamp about seven, the master about it's so loud. I really want the master about four, but in, when you're in the room, it's like one and a half. Treble, six or seven, uh, mids, six, bass at like four, and the presence at like six. The amp starts a little sort of a little bit mushy until you get that volume going, but man, when you get the volume going, it's so loud. I mean, that's really loud already. 
it's not even at two. But you could hear it start to sort of blossom. I'm gonna turn on the Fryat power station so I could get a little of that power amp love. Have the depth off and uh, maybe a presence at like nine o'clock. The master's up at 10 o'clock. So now I think everything gets a little more solid and um, Still, man, the bass, it's always a little bit flubby. Oh, there. Now at three, it tightened up a little bit. So that's a really great bass line tone for me. I love, like, that zone and then if i want a bunch of gain i could get the gain from the small box pedal so now let's take a look at the mesa five band eq kind of nice for tightening up, you know, a little bit. What if we do a little sucking out? Not too much. More gain. Off. Oh, okay, that was better. <laughs> Off is better. Let's go a little more. Maybe it was just a volume thing. Well, volume is always better, so that's helping for sure. What if I give a little, let's give a little gain. Let's go to the small box. actually a pretty good sound. A little box and boost to tighten the bottom. Off. 
Well, it's about the recipe, right? You go back to like a great raw sound, you turn on a couple primo tone shaping things on the front end, and then you explode it with EQ on the back end. So now in the raw sound, we're getting kind of close. Uh, but if you listen to the White Snake album, there's so much depth in the room going on. I don't know if that's a uh, coming from a digital reverb or room mics, but that's a big part. If you go into Blue Murder, there's always either like a short slap or uh, some sort of stereoing going on on the sound. John had told me when we were mixing once that he really liked a, sort of a short, bright room on his guitar tone. Uh, and he had an AMS RMX16 in his studio where we mixed. So um, that's what I used for that. And he also had a Lexicon 480L. So um, that's kind of the, some of the things I used in putting the, the wetness on this side of the fence. <laughs> That's where I'm at. A lot of people have asked me to do a, a sound like John Sykes video and I've always said no because how do you do that? It's so in the hands for him especially and I, I can't play like him so I, I could cop a couple riffs and play some slow stuff almost a little bit but uh, you know he's absolutely one of my top 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 guys and one of the reasons I play guitar so uh, shout out to John. Thank you to Michael Torn for letting me use his JCM 800. And uh, all right, guys. So I don't know if we learned anything, but uh, I don't know that 800 with a graphic EQ is pretty cool. There you go. Uh, thank you guys for watching. We'll see you later.